Toyota has made a groundbreaking move in the electric vehicle industry. They've unveiled two new hydrogen-powered vehicles, promising to reshape the future of transportation. Toyota's commitment to green technology goes back to 1992 when they began developing hydrogen-powered vehicles. This pioneering spirit culminated in 1996 when they unveiled their first fuel cell electric vehicle, the FCEV, based on the Toyota RAV4. This prototype laid the foundation for Toyota's unwavering dedication to clean energy. In 2015, Toyota made automotive history by launching the first commercially sold hydrogen-powered vehicle the Toyota Mirai. At the time, it was only available in Japan and California. The Mirai was a significant milestone, showcasing Toyota's determination to pioneer new eco-friendly technologies. Building on the success of the Mirai, Toyota has taken a giant leap forward by redesigning this hydrogen-powered gem. One of the primary concerns addressed in the redesign is interior space. The placement of hydrogen tanks, previously beneath the rear seats and center console, has been optimized to provide more legroom, headroom, and trunk space. But that's not all. Toyota is introducing the Mirai Sport, a variant that goes beyond aesthetics. The Mirai Sport boasts a sportier design, featuring a redesigned bumper and a smaller, lower positioned grille, reminiscent of the last generation Toyota Prius. With three slits positioned above the license plate and a sleek black trim piece between the headlights, the Mirai Sport exudes an athletic and aggressive aura. Toyota has not just focused on looks. The Mirai Sport aims to offer a more engaging driving experience. It comes equipped with a fresh set of wheels, 21-inch alloy rims resembling the sporty BBS style, paired with Michelin Pilot Sport S tires. This combination not only enhances cornering precision, but also contributes to the car's aggressive stance. To further improve handling dynamics, Toyota has lowered the suspension by 20 millimeters. This seemingly modest adjustment significantly reduces body roll and enhances overall handling, all while giving the Mirai Sport a sportier stance. Under the hood, an upgraded powertrain is expected to deliver over 220 horsepower, significantly improving its acceleration capabilities potentially reaching 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 7 seconds. While the Mirai Sport may be less efficient compared to the long-range Mirai, its projected range of over 400 miles is more than acceptable for most drivers. These upgrades promise an engaging and eco-conscious driving experience that bridges the gap between performance and sustainability. But Toyota's hydrogen ambitions don't stop at the Mirai. They're introducing the all-new Toyota Crown sedan, sharing its platform with the current generation Mirai. This sedan is slightly longer, measuring around 5.03 meters, and offers an entirely different interior that oozes luxury. On the exterior, the Toyota Crown stands apart with a bold front design, dominated by a large vertical barred grille, reminiscent of Mercedes Maybach models. The wheels, fitted with bad tires, Hint at a focus on ride comfort, differentiating it from the sportier Mirai variants. The Crown Sedan aims to provide a refined driving experience and caters to those who value comfort and classiness. While the Toyota Crown will be primarily available in Asia, it's an exciting addition to Toyota's hydrogen lineup, indicating growing interest in hydrogen-powered vehicles beyond their home markets. Now, let's delve into the advantages of hydrogen-powered vehicles over electric ones. While EVs are renowned for being clean on the road, their environmental impact often shifts elsewhere. The energy production required to charge EVs can be harmful to the environment, depending on its source. Hydrogen, on the other hand, is the most abundant gas in the universe, making it an attractive green energy source. FCEVs have an edge when it comes to energy production and usage. They don't need to be connected to the grid for recharging, this eliminates the environmental concerns associated with electricity generation. In contrast, EVs rely heavily on electricity, and despite not emitting tailpipe pollutants, the energy source is a critical factor in their overall environmental impact. Additionally, FCEVs use smaller batteries compared to EVs, which means they require less environmentally problematic materials, such as lithium. The environmental toll of lithium mining, 
particularly in regions near mining sites, raises valid concerns. FCEVs, with their reduced battery size, offer a more sustainable alternative. What sets FCEVs apart is their air cleaning ability. These vehicles generate electricity by combining oxygen and hydrogen, creating water as a byproduct. The water evaporates, returning oxygen to the atmosphere. Thanks to advanced filtration systems, the released oxygen is virtually clean, potentially contributing to cleaner air in densely populated areas where FCEVs are prevalent. However, it's crucial to acknowledge the challenges and considerations associated with FCEVs. Hydrogen production is currently expensive and inefficient, making it less cost-effective than fossil fuels, and even EVs. Storing hydrogen requires specific conditions, as it's highly flammable and explosive. This necessitates complex tanks and pumps, unlike the relatively straightforward infrastructure of gasoline stations and EV chargers. Maintenance is another consideration. Metals tend to degrade faster when exposed to hydrogen, potentially increasing servicing and tank replacement frequency. Overcoming these technical challenges is vital for making FCEVs more practical and cost-effective. The most significant hurdle is infrastructure. While EV charging stations are becoming more commonplace, FCEV refueling stations remain limited, particularly outside Japan and California. Until this infrastructure gap is bridged, FCEVs will remain less practical for everyday use compared to EVs. As Toyota pioneers the future of transportation with their new hydrogen-powered vehicles, the landscape of eco-friendly mobility is evolving. The debate between hydrogen and electricity continues, with each technology offering unique advantages and facing its own set of challenges. So, what are your thoughts on this automotive revolution? Which path do you think holds the key to a greener future, hydrogen or electricity? Share your insights in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Futuristic Tech and AI for the latest updates in the world of tech innovation. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and until next time, let's drive towards a cleaner, more sustainable future.